Michaela, thank you. The big story now locally, the approaching heat wave. Comes many Americans will be heading out uh, on vacation. It's a popular vacation week celebrating the 4th of July holiday. Many heading to the beach or going out in the boats. And the Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management is launching a campaign this weekend to help keep boaters safe. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie is looking ahead for us. Good morning. Well, starting today, you might notice increased patrols on the water. Officials want you to avoid a tragedy that could be avoided altogether by not operating a boat under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Now, you might remember one incident from last summer. You're looking at video from Johnson's Pond in Coventry. Police believe alcohol played a role in the deaths of two men there whose bodies were pulled from the pond. The U.S. Coast Guard found alcohol use was the leading cause in recreational boating deaths last year. And as a part Part of the campaign last year, the Department of Environmental Management boarded 111 vessels. They issued 47 warnings and citations. They conducted one boating under the influence investigation, initiated four boating accident responses, conducted six search and rescues, and made three arrests. Now, state officials want to remind you that the limits and the penalties are the same for driving and boating under the influence. Testing standards are also consistent. For now, live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.